All right, so we are going ahead and this is, I think, video number three. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make these. Um, I'm going to do a couple of different things with mine instead of exactly like these because I did the first two exactly like these. Um, stamp set and all, well, I guess I forgot the little leaves, but I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. Um, I am happy with how it turned out. Um, so I am going to go ahead and... See, I have this one here that I, that I added a little bit of different color in, and I don't know that I want to do that one with you guys. I'm thinking, um, let's see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I was going to make this here, um, and I'm going to do a couple of, I did the watercolor brushes just like I did on the first set this set here and I colored them and I got them all ready to go so they're all dry and everything and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, add a couple of extra touches just so that you can see the difference between the originals and uh, what you know it's a couple of different things that you can do to make them different so um, I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna do that with the next couple of cards as well and I, we're just gonna kinda do like an easy transition using the same techniques just different products so or not even products just different uh, co you know colors and stuff stuff um, and maybe a couple of different techniques I just can't help myself so I'm going to go ahead and start with, let's see, I know I will probably be doing sequins on this one. I'm assuming since it's got the silver twine, I'm going to use the silver sequins. Now you could totally, I mean, you could do mix your metals. I'm not a fan of mixing my metals, but you can if you wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Let's see, I need my card base. Oh, I'm lifting everything up here. All right, so here's my card base. I'm going to fold that and make sure the edges line up right. And then I'm going to use my bone folder. This one is from Close to My Heart. It is a very, I love this. It's my favorite bone folder. I don't know that I, I've, I, I think I've used a cheaper one. I don't remember what brand it was, but I love, love, love this one. And it's not expensive, but man, I love it. It's, you know, I really should get another one just in case I lose that one. That might have to go on my next order. All right, so as you can see, this one here is, I have all the pieces for it, other than I need to take this off of there. Um, honestly, you don't have to use this either if you don't want to. So I can just pop this stuff down just like they, you know, the pieces down just like it shows. Or you know me, I'm going to do some edge distressing. So this one's going to be pretty easy. I'm just going to go around this piece here. And as you can see, it just, oh, well, if you can see, there we go. It just roughs up the very edge and it gives, adds just a little bit of dimension. Um, It does scrape off a little bit of the uh, image on the outside edge, but it doesn't, I mean, that's the whole point, is to make it white and a little bit distressed. Um, that is one thing that I like about the, the white core of our cardstock, is that it does bring in the white. It lightens up your, um, your pieces and gives a little bit of dimension at the same time. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do this part. It doesn't take very long to do it. It is kind of messy because it does um, cause your, you know, paper to kind of have pieces all, you know, come off of it. So I know what that's called. Dust, paper dust. It does blow away, but it does blow all over too. <laughs> so, um, you know, I might do this one as well because that looks quite flat. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one as well. And as you can see, you can see, 
it does just a little raised edge. Come on. Just a raised edge, so it's a little bit thicker. And um, I want to say unruly. It's not perfectly flat or... Um, and the corners, you can curl the corners, you can do rip the edges, you can do all kinds of things. Um, depends on what level of distressing you want to do. And you don't even have to do any. You can do the uh, uh, Love at First Sight or any of our of Close to My Heart's um, card kits. Just exactly like the you know, what, however you want to do it. If you want to do it by the card, by the instructions, do it by the instructions. If you want to do, uh, you know, just have fun and explore and play like I'm doing, you know, with these uh, next ones, feel free to do it. That's what, you know, crafting is all about. It's learning new techniques and mixing and matching things and learning how to put things together. Okay, so that will look like that. See how that works? So let me see, I've got another one over here. I can show you. I mean this one, the colors are a little bit different on these two cards. I added purple to this one and I did. I haven't even watercolored this one yet. So, um, but you can see the edges there, how that makes, you know, just it just pops. And I like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put these down. Um, I'm gonna follow the exact same instructions as what's in here as far as placement around the edges and everything. Um, I'm going to be doing this one as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to fit it on this video. I'm going to try. So let's see if I can do this fast enough. I have done a couple trials on watercoloring with the real brush markers and whatnot. Oh, make sure your flower, your pet, or your blooms are up instead of down. All right, that's it so far. Now you can obviously put this on any color of base that you want. It doesn't much matter. Um, foam tape for this one, if I could figure out where it went, that'd be great. Ah, this. It's under everything. Alright, so this one, let's see, I would assume we could just cut it in half, maybe? Maybe we should have done a thinner and a thicker. There's one. Let's see if we can put that away. Um, I think I did that same thing last time where I made it too short. Like that. Pull this off of there. And I think they said one and seven eighths above. One and seven eighths above the. There you go. I don't know if that's seven eighths. That doesn't look like seven eighths. We're going to go for seven eighths, which is way up high. I think that's about right. Okay. There we go. And then it is. Well, this kind of goes a little on the crooked side. Pretty sure that's where it's supposed to be. Maybe it's two and seven eighths. Maybe it's two inches altogether. Let's see if we can pull that up. I don't know if we can pull that up. Oh, look at that. It's coming up. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick this right next to that. There. That looks better. Okay, so that was two and a quarter. Look at that. Okay, and then this, I'm going to kind of curve it back to as flat as I can get it. Like that. 
And as you can see, you have the twine or the stuff here, and then it goes up right up underneath of it. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, maybe? Maybe? I don't know how long I need it to be, but I do need it straight. So hopefully... Ah, that's nice. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Get back over there. Okay, so I'm thinking something similar to that. Maybe. Oh, wrong one. Like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive back here on the back. And I'm going to be using phone tape on here as well, but I kind of want to make sure that I get this, um, what's the word, all over the place. I don't want it to just be like that and like that, maybe. And then just trim off these little peekers over here. Now one thing about using the twine in this, or not the twine, I keep saying it's embellishing thread, uh, is that you get a different look every time. Like it's never going to be exactly the same. And so like, it's all going to fall, I just have a feeling. So like this one, you see the difference? Oh. Like that. So you can see the difference there, they're not the same. The little silver, yeah. Anyways, so there's that, and let's get these. Okay, so this one will be up here. Like that. And then it would kind of want the, the sentiment straight, and the banner is curved, so that's what we're going for here. Um, let me see here. I'm trying to find one that I can actually f like fold in half. That is not one. I'm gonna have to look closer. Take a closer look. There we are. And these ones I have scored or cut, so I can fold them in half. This one goes there. This one goes here. Right, right under there. And then we do a small one up here and a bigger one down here. Hmm. You know, now that I think about it, I don't need to double it up either, so I'm going to have to pull that off. Okay. Ooh, I hope that doesn't show. Okay, so I don't need to double it up. I thought I did, but I don't, so... I am going to just grab this and grab this and see it will be there and there like that and then two of these for down below here no 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 we definitely want it to be right before the edge. Then we're going to do two singles here. Right up here by the edge. And right up here by the edge. And that... Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's not right. This one needs to go down here. Okay. And that should fit perfectly. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and take the um, plastic or cover, whatever you want to call it, off both of these for this side here.
So I actually want to change up this little thing a little bit. I'm not sure what's going on, but it needs a little bit more attention up here on the right hand side. There we go. I like that. Okay. So now I'm going to take the covers off this side. And put that down. Like so. Like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do some sparkles. Now one of the things that you can do um, is like I could have done the thank you in silver instead of instead of black. Um, my quicker poker picker and let's see. I am going to pull off something. I don't I know I don't want the stars. So stars are gonna go um, And as far as let's see. This light needs to be a little closer. Um, sorry for the bouncing. Um, let's see. I don't know that I like these ones on this particular layout. But I did like where some of them were placed, so... one could definitely go right there where that one was um, and I don't want too many so this is way more than I would actually put on here but I'm thinking I kind of like these clear ones actually I don't know why, but that's this. There's a, a an airplane flying above, and it just it. F my memory flashed back to when I was like eight or nine, seven or eight, maybe. And I was at my cousin's house, and they had a backyard that sloped down to um, a horse pasture, and in their backyard, and I remember. I remember there, um, just the lounging and hearing those that sound. That was interesting. I've, I don't, I don't think I've ever done that before, especially not to that mem particular memory. I mean, we used to have to take blankets out and just play Barbies in the backyard and all kinds of stuff. So um, I gotta get this done. This is just one card. How am I gonna fit two on here? Maybe you guys will have to be forgiving. <laughs> Okay, I think I actually like that. What do you guys think? Maybe that could be down there or something? I don't know. Maybe that needs to be a smaller one instead of a bigger one. That might be what's throwing me off. There. Like that. Or maybe the smaller white one needs to go, which I think is the case, and then this little silver guy needs to go up here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere these down. Um, I use my gl liquid glass, but I'm going to try to save some time here. Um, I just pick it up with this, put some liquid glass where it was, and stick it back down. It's really simple. So. I'm going to go ahead and do that, um, and hopefully that will save us a little bit of time so it won't take forever. So I will be right back. Okay, so there it is. It's got a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of texture, and it's one of the things that I love that you can do. You, I mean, you can make it exactly how you want it to be. So this is kind of what I would do. Um, 
now that I look at it, I might have made these a little bit smaller on the scale of um, sequins, but I still like it, and I love how it turned out. So, Hello, everybody. This is card number two. Yay, I fit it on here. Okay, so I am going ahead and coloring in... Yeah, I totally changed up the color. I went with blue, um, like the navy tones, dark blue tones. And so I'm just using, this time I'm also using my um, Arteza Real Brush pens. And um, I really like how these work. They, I mean, they, as long as you get that flicking motion down, you, you pretty much got it. So um, I love how this one turned out. And I just wanted to show you guys before the video how I went about doing this because there really wasn't a good place to insert this in, into the video. Um, I actually did this for uh, one of my uh, one of the future cards and I did the same exact concept other than on the future card I didn't do the gold um, embossing. So yeah, total spoiler alert, huh? So you'll, um, but you'll see that in just a, in a couple of seconds. So um, I'm just kind of showing you, going through and kind of showing you, you know, what I'm doing. And I'm using three different, three colors. Um, I'll leave those linked down below. Um, I know that one of them was denim. And then... Uh, blue denim or denim blue or something like that. And the other one was um, like midnight sky or something like that. And I don't know what the other one was. So that was the, the water coloring. And then I'm just taking my uh, thank you stamp and I'm stamping it in um, Versamark on top of the words thank you. So as you can tell, the word thank you is hard to see on such a, you know, using the dark blue colors. So that's when I decided to add the gold embossing powder to just give it some life. So I'm just going to heat that up and then we'll move on to the rest of the card. So I'm going to try to do this fairly quick like. I maybe follow the rule or follow the instructions this time so I don't have to trim the card down. We shall see. Um, I think it's seven eighths from the backs from each. Nope, three eighths. Three eighths. Three eighths, people. Three eighths. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and look at this card for reference. I'm going to go ahead and keep the back the same. Um, I don't really have the need to change it up. So let's see. Um, for this, I use my Zig two way glue pen and my ATG says, for things like exactly like this one. Three eighths. Perfectly with the ATG. Three eighths in from the side and centered. Three eighths. One, two, three. So three eighths and that is not three eighths. It's a half. So that is like three eighths, right? One, two, three, yeah. So that was supposed to be about right. Hmm. And it's not even from top to bottom, so I'm gonna have to pull that up. This is gonna, not gonna be very slow. Okay, come on, three eighths. You gotta do it. Work with me here. All right. So the next one is a bigger one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. I might just go ahead and put you guys on fast forward for this. Um, I really hope this works, and I'm not just misleading you guys and these ones I use um, the light side of the ballerina paper so I put my adhesive on the actual ballerina color and then we put that down for those of you that are seeing this for the first time our close to my heart papers 
or cardstock, not papers, cardstock has two colors. We have the lighter on, or the, the color on the front and then a lighter version on the back. So you can kind of see how that works. Different colors. Um, which just like doubles our color um, palette, which is pretty awesome, I think. Um, and then we go for the rainbow. Now for the original of this card, it is, oh, that one's kind of, not bad, okay, go for lighter, line it up and stick it down as long as you cut it cut them all the right size by the instructions then it usually ends up pretty good okay so this one will be a light skinny flower up leaves down which I mean you totally don't have to you can do it the other way around if you want to you want to all right Let me see here. Put that down like so. And then the last one is going to be a dark. So we're going to flip it over and have the flowers on the back side. And it did the same thing. So I would suggest marking your 3 8 because, I mean, it is very hard. I mean, it's not very easy to tell, but for me, I can tell this side's bigger than this side. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim that off because it, it will drive me nuts if I don't. And I honestly don't mind trimming it off. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. If it bothers you, you'll want to measure and, you know, all that good stuff. Me, I'm more of a fly-by-the-seat-of-my-pants type of person. And it shows, I'm sure. Um, let's see, that should be it. Oh, and now I cut it off a little bit too short on that side. Well, I guess we're going to be framing it perfect over here. Okay. So, now it's even smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it still looks good, y'all. <laughs> okay, so... So the next part is, um, so normally you would have like a thread here, um, and I'm not going to use the silver thread. I'm going to be doing my accents in um, gold, which is why this is here. So you can see that the, the accents are pink, but in this striped um, zip strip here, if you watched my first video in this little series here, then um, you'll see that it's got the navy blue uh, sapphire in it. While this is not navy blue because it came, these are the Arteza real brush markers, they are really darn close to that color. Um, not exact, but very, very close. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. Um, I am going to do a little bit of distressing around the edges of this um, because I want to give it a little bit of a pop. And um, you can find edge dist distressers in many craft stores. They have like electronic ones that you could just slide it through, slide your paper through, and um, it just distress distresses the edge. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then I will start working on 
Um, now I do have a twine. It's in here in my drawer. And so close to my heart has gone through a lot of different colors of twine. So there's this one that's bronze, and then there's this one that's gold that has some gold on it. And I could technically use this. I could take the gold out of this too if I wanted to. I might just do that actually because it really does need something. Okay, so it, it will go, let's see, with this it will go behind here and around here. And I don't know if I want to do the whole thing like that, because um, you know I'm rogue me and all. Um, I think what I will do is, I actually like the idea of putting this around here and maybe tying a bow um, right underneath instead of, you know, instead of doing the swirly thing or wrapping it a couple of times. Uh, or I could just wrap it a couple of times and put it behind that. So let's just see that what that looks like. Twice, but we might just try this three times thing that they say in the instructions. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so then it would be like that, and then this will go over the top like that. That's not bad. I think I like two better, not three. So let's take one of those off, and then we can cross it. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to do it twice, so I just need to have enough twine to go around this twice. And I'm going to cut that right off there with a little bit extra. I'm not going to do a bow, um, so I am going to go ahead and um, wrap this, and hopefully I can wrap it twice and have it work for me here. I think I'm going to scoot it up though. I don't think I want it... Okay, so I need to see how this is working here. This needs to go down. That needs to go up. I need to tighten it a little bit. Okay, so it will be something like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm just going to tape this because it really doesn't need it to be, um, doesn't need to be tied. Taped is just fine. And then we'll have that and that. And I like that. And then I will have some of the sequins that, you know, just a couple of sequins, not too many. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm not really good at that, but we'll give it a shot. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put both of these up on foam dots. If I can figure out what I did with them. Um, let's see. I've got this one here for the back of this. So, like, you could totally... Um, change this piece here out for navy or, or for like the sapphire color or um, the uh, a gray color. I mean you could do many things um, as far as being able to change things out. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just split this down the center real quick and put it down the center. And this one down the edge. Okay. So this one is ready to go on. And then I can work on the... So we're going to go ahead and put that in the center of the card. Like so. And then we can put this one on here. And have that lifted up. 
So let's see how we're going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the center like that and then I think I'm going to go ahead and pull off a piece for this that might have been just a little bit too long maybe nope that actually worked out just fine and then we'll pull a piece of this hopefully that will fit right here so I'm going to trim that corner off there And then maybe another couple of little pieces for like say here and ah, it's getting away from me over here and then I'll do a couple over here mm. not sure how wide I want it to be like so, oh, we're, oh, that fit perfect. Okay, all right, so that's that, and I'll put this up on my sheet, and then we'll pull the back off of these. Um, and then I can go ahead and put this down, and then we'll work on the sequins, and I'm thinking this should be just under half an, an hour, which is a Great. That's exactly what I was hoping for. All right, so I've already pre-stamped this in the center, kind of where I want it to be, in um, the Versamark ink here. And so that's it without the sequins. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some sequins. And I am going to do my best to not add a whole bunch, like I did the last card. That doesn't, it doesn't show, does it? Okay, that's plenty. I don't need to put the whole handful in there. And that can be put away there, and let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna get this back out, and my uh, liquid glass, my favorite adhesive, not just for um, um, sequins, but in general, it's one of my favorites. The ATG is the other. The ATG I love for my dry, and the liquid glass is my fave for my wet. Okay, so uh, we don't need. Um, let's see, what, what do I want to do here? I have these little kind of whitish ones that I want to include. So I think I'm going to take this one out and add in a little white one here. And then this one has um, two uh, kind of attached to each other, evidently. All right. I actually kind of like those ones on this one. I don't want quite so many of them, but I like them still. Okay, so maybe I will pull this one off and put, oh, that's just so clear this one off and put this one up here like oh come on off off my finger thank you um take this one and put it up here and then maybe this one down here and this one not there this one up here do they have any smaller I thought they did. Oh, they do. They have tiny ones, but I don't know if they have, like, the, um, I've been using a lot of, oh, there's one. This one here. I think I'd rather have this one a little tiny here rather than big. Or the other way around, maybe. Maybe this one and this one switched. Oh, my cat is snoring. Like that. Um, hmm. Maybe that 
was too big. Maybe we'll go with this little tiny one. Yeah, I like that way better, but I don't like this. I don't like that one. This seems like it's too much, too big, too much kind of thing. Um, and I'm thinking, because I have the little tiny ones here, um, have this right up here by the thank you. Oh, look, there's a star. Okay, I like that. It's very simple, but it's not too much, um, which is something that I like. So, well, kind of depends on my mood, you know. So, um, 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 um. I feel like the, it, this is like extremely empty here. I don't know what to put there. Okay, well, I'm just going to go ahead and put these down and hope that it work. Okay, I'm going to have to poke that again. My, there we go. See if I can do this. You know, you really do need three hands for this. Or to just hold this in your mouth while you're doing it. Because it has a fine tip here on the end of this one. And it's kind of a pain for me to switch them without. I guess that's fine. See what I mean? And I think this is with sequins all over the world. I mean, you just, sometimes it's just a pain. I really like these little white ones. They're like not really, really white. They're like shell white, which is adorable. Oh, come on. Just stay down already. I like them flat. I don't like them like... I'm really thinking that it needs an, um... Bitty sparkles. I know, I know, I know, I know they are silver, and I don't like mixing my things, but I really think it needs some bitty sparkles. Hopefully I have enough time. Enough time. Keep this around a half hour. Oh, come on. Come on. You can do it. These things are bitty, like... Beady, 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 beady. It's not showing it. Come on, there you go. Beady sparkles. They're little, itty, bitty, tiny. So, there's that one. And these ones I generally do in threes. So, we'll see where I can fit them. That one, and then. Another one, right here, 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 here. There it is. Okay, so it adds just a little bit more sparkle compared to what it was. And there we go. So I am hopefully leaving enough time that I can squeeze in the water or the coloring of this banner um, in here. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you with the next card. Wait a minute. Ah. They're sneaky little things, aren't they? 
Okay, so I will talk to you guys later. Uh, um, I will leave the link in the description box below. Um, there's only about a month and a half left that these, that this, um, workshop, the card workshop will be in, uh, available it might end up going on like the clearance section um what we can't really it's really hard to tell so um i hope you guys will check that out and of course i will leave the links down below and i will see you on the next video